Poppy is way too hot. I need a little sip to get going in the morning. Hello, hello, hello. Sharon Hornellstrom here. You can call me Pajama Grandma, dropping stuff on the floor. Today, I woke up early, like, <laughs> wow, two hours ago, which is super early for me. And I couldn't get the thought of personal power out of my brain. Personal power. And who do we give our personal power to? And basically, it's whatever we're paying attention to that isn't our true inner voice, our true inner self, and what's in our own best interest. So if we're paying attention to the news, if we're paying attention to the radio, if we're paying attention to our inner critic, if we're paying attention to our boss, our our significant other, our kids, our parents, um, our friends, our family, our coworkers, who are we allowing to influence the way we really think and feel about anything? And what are we allowing to influence us? Are we allowing the government to influence? Are we allowing the politicians to influence? Are we allowing other people to think for us instead of paying attention, tapping into how do, how do I really feel about this? What do I really think about this? Is this what I think and believe or is this what somebody else is telling me I should think or believe? And is this thought or belief or feeling in my own best interest? And this morning I woke up and I was thinking, whose voice is in my head and is it my own negative self-talk that's undermining my personal power in some situations? And the answer was a resounding yes, which is really, really scary and meant I have some work to do today, just like all of us probably do, because we need to be our own best friend. We need to be the voice in our head that is encouraging us and giving us the power to do whatever it is that we want to do. And the first step of doing that is becoming aware that we're letting other things manage and control our thoughts and our feelings about things. And we don't ever want to give up that personal power. So my question for you today is, what are you paying attention to? Are you living your life by default <clears throat> and therefore allowing other things to, to zap and take your personal power? Or are you living 100% in control of your life, your existence, your decisions, and making sure that every decision, every thought, every feeling is in your own best interest because that's how we reclaim our personal power. That's it. Kind of a weird one for today. Have an awesome day. I will see you tomorrow with another perplexing pajama grandma question. Bye.